The Soviet Jewry movement recognized that Jews in the Soviet Union were being badly mistreated. We were discriminated against. There were no Jewish schools, there were no opportunity to go to synagogues. Jews were not only deprived of their freedom, they were deprived of their identity. There was a belief that Gorbachev would come to the United States. What were we going to do? How were we going to respond, galvanize? The Federation movement recognized this was an important moment in Jewish history and a potential turning point. This was not an event where you RSVP'd <laughs> and we knew how many people were coming for dinner. <laughs> With only 32 days, one might think that federations would have shied away from such a formidable challenge. But the fact is, within moments, federations recognized they could do this. There was no internet, there was no CNN, but there was a huge flood of American Jews. On December 6, 1987, American Jews organized this incredible rally. 250,000 plus Jews and non-Jews gathered in Washington to show support and to demand freedom for Soviet Jews. As we got into this and began to sense momentum, the formulation that we used was, we think will be the largest Jewish gathering in Washington history. The march started at the Ellipse, which is behind the White House, and marched down Constitution Avenue. You could see a vast number of people and signs from various communities throughout the United States. Michael and Sergei, who was about 14 at the time, went to the march and they were very excited about it. You know, the crowd was, was very, I think was very patient. And I think the reason was because they knew they were part of something historic. And it's a story not only of rescue and bringing people to freedom, but also of how we're all connected. When you liberate people, when you give them pathways to freedom, you don't just benefit them. All the world benefits from that. The impact of those former Soviet Jews is tremendous. Five Nobel Prize winners, uh, numerous medical innovations, Google. I mean, in, tremendous impact. I think it's, uh, Jewish Federation have been instrumental in this. They really catapulted the whole issue to the front pages, uh, to the front of the minds of every household of the Jewish community here. Federations have the unique ability to respond by finding Jews in their local communities and making them realize they're part of something far larger than just their individual concerns. Freedom 25 is an effort to elevate understanding of the Soviet Jewry movement and the lessons that it has for contemporary times and for the future. Freedom 25 has a great opportunity to remind the American Jewish community what's possible. People understand that freedom is an amazing gift, a very fragile gift, and uh, we need to know why we have it and how not to destroy it. When people care, they get involved. When they get involved, they make a difference. And we have to continue to make a difference. We must be committed to justice, not just for Jews, but for all people. The moment you rediscover this connection between your daily life, this long, interesting, and exciting history, it gives you a lot of strength. If I took it for granted back then that Jews could sing together, I no longer take it for granted. It's embedded and imprinted in me as a memory of Jewish peoplehood. I think back to those times when we were able to put aside our differences and come together for the greater good. And my hope is that if we have to, we'll be able to do that again. Thank you.